Hi Cancer, thanks for showing up to watch your love reading for the month of January. So this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is also if you're spying on a Cancer, because you have a crush, or they're your ex, and you hope that their love life is horrible, or something like that. Although, I would say, if that's you, um, if you're hoping that somebody else's love life goes to shit, and it's bad, you're only attracting that to yourself, so better just not to think about them. Okay. Um, not to be all high and mighty and luxury, but so here's the deal. This month, your love reading is going to be a little bit longer and more intensive because the last few days, ever since the new year hit, I've been waking up with, um, those really l powerful love songs that Ed Sheeran sings, not the ones about breakups, you know, like, oh, you were so, I, you, I was so much happier with you and I'm so heartbroken. No, no, no. I'm getting all these ones in my head, like immediately when I, when I wake up about how, like, I met the perfect person. I want to live my life with you. Like, I've never been so in love before. Um, so I see that as a positive omen for all of us in 2018. So here we go. What do you want in love in January, Cancer? You want new love to come riding in. You want somebody really, really romantic. And you want it to be passionate and exciting. Like, you want it to be kind of like a romance novel. Where, like, this person comes in on a white horse. And they're, like, all sexy. And they just, like, rip their shirt off. And you just, like, start licking their chest. Like, that kind of a thing. Um, who doesn't want that? Wow, Cancer. But the more that you envision it, the more you're going to attract that into your life. So awesome. What have you learned um, in love this last year and maybe even previous? You're learning to focus on the good things as opposed to the bad things in a relationship. Um, and that being said, like also relationships that have ended, you know, so it's like, okay, I was really sad during this time of a breakup, but um, now I'm starting to focus on the positives of being available for this person to come in on their horse and rip their shirt off, like I said, right? So good for you. Now, if you're still kind of focused on your depression or your sadness or the things that we've lost or the things that we lack, um, that's going to be a learning moment for you in an area of growth, okay? Um, all right. So how are we going to best prepare for love that's coming in in January and they're like actually there's not that much that you have to do right now <laughs> are you ready for love in January they're like yeah emotionally you come into this place of good balance so absolutely you are what kind of subconscious energies are going to uh, come up in the month of January in regards to love and they say well really not that much because you've already gone in and done the emotional work and you're in this emotional place of balance, Cancer. And part of that is because you're such a deep, reflective person. So they're like, things are just going to change really quickly. It might be that, boom, overnight, you are in a relationship with the person of your dreams. Um, it might be that, boom, overnight, you have all these opportunities to date different people um, that just like came out of the woodwork, out of the blue. It could be that, boom, overnight, you feel really confident and good about yourself, thereby attracting more love into your life. Now, as I'm doing this reading, it's 11.22 a.m. So 11 is about what you're wishing for. And so 22 is like um, balance as well. So, you know, make sure that you're also asking with all of these fast, quick changes that are predicted to come for you in regards to love in January, that um, they are balanced and manageable. Okay, because it could be a little overwhelming for you. Now, I forgot to mention this reading is for singles and couples. So if you're single, this is, you know, this kind of energy where like new romance is coming into your life. And if you're coupled, this could be like your partner is just bringing you a lot more love and passion. Um, and it's because maybe you've let go of some resentment. Emotionally, you're in a really good balanced place. Okay, so um, what are your current blocks? in regards to receiving love in the month of January. And how do you get past them? You know what, they're like, there's not so much of a current block. Like, it's on its way. You've decided to be open, to allow love to come in at you. They're like, some of you haven't achieved that emotional balance yet, but by the end of the month, hopefully you will be there. Like if you're doing the work, you should be there and then it will come through for you. They say it is about self-love and self-care and like knowing how 
amazing you are. Because as soon as you know that, then other people are going to recognize that in you. Okay? Now, um, they're like, also it's about avoiding drama. You've been kind of avoiding drama, and that's been working out for you. Like, you know, um, for me... I have um, very kind of crazy time energy. I have uh, Leo Sun and I'm a Scorpio Moon. So my emotions are super high or they're super low, but I'm super like in your face about it as a Leo. So, um, you know, personally, I need to really just put my feelings out there in a very fierce uh, kind of a way, just like, ah, here they are, and then I can deal with them and move past it. But my sister, who's a Cancer, we don't always deal, we deal with things very, very differently because she goes in and she internally processes things and then comes to the state of emotional balance that I could never achieve if I didn't just like, you know, kind of spaz. So um, they're saying that this is working for you, but we're also at 555 into the video right now. And that's another message saying out with the old, in with the new. And so as you've been working through some emotional stuff, letting go of things from the past, um, and this is also like letting go of things in your home. Like this is like getting rid of furniture that you don't like so you can welcome in new furniture. This is also um, saying goodbye to people, you know, um, whether there's been a lot of deaths recently um, and especially in the year of 2017 in general. And it's like, even though that's hard and these were people that we loved or um, even though maybe we've let go of relationships with people that we loved, um, new things are coming to us. Um, we've created a space for something new and wonderful to come into our life, and it definitely is. And in January, all of those energies are kind of moving towards us. We're like a magnet for it. So good for you. Yay. I love that positivity. Okay. How are you going to ready your heart for love in the month of January? Being open and being open um, and almost kind of like this childlike, foolish joy, knowing that wonderful things are flowing to you now. You know, because some of you are probably watching this reading, you're like, bullshit, I don't believe it, whatever, whatever. But then you're not going to be one of those people who receives this love. Okay, we have to have this trust in the universe and we have to have this childlike joy and enthusiasm and excitement, even though, as you notice with this card, he doesn't have a face. Okay, he and he doesn't have a belly. He's missing parts of his body. Okay, so we can't see and we maybe can't feel or know what to expect like that is coming into us, like in into our lives. We might not be able to picture what that'll look like as hard as we try, but that we just have to trust that it's amazing because it's going to be. We already have the cards to show us that. So just be open to the unknown is essentially what I'm saying. How are you going to ready your mind for love in the month of January? And here's what I have. Embracing um, new enthusiasm and excitement, new activities, being creative, carrying those energies forward, and starting um, conversations about your passion, about what you're excited about, about even love, because you're drawing it in. Now, um, the thing is, is that some of us are lying to ourselves saying that we're ready, or um, we're talking about things, saying that this is what we want when it really isn't. We need to be careful that we're being super open and honest, not only with ourselves, but with others about what it is that we're looking for. Um, so how are we going to ready our spirit for love in the month of January? View yourself as already being successful in love. You know, it's like, of course I'm going to have these things. Of course I'm going to feel this way. Of course I'm going to couple up with the right person. Of course everybody adores me because they do. <laughs> View yourself that way first so that it becomes your reality. What's the positive thing that you can do this month to either find a partner or to increase the love um, that you have with your partner right now? And they're saying, you know what? You've already done it or um, you're already on that path. Like you go within you feel your feelings, you work through the ones that are not good, and then you replace them with positive ones, and boom, overnight, there it is. Boom, there it is. That's what I'm getting for your reading. So what is a positive affirmation that we can use to kind of help us this month in attracting love? And they're saying um, the focus needs to be on ritual, actually. Um, so 
whether you do meditation as a ritual, um, whether it's just like a routine that you're following like day to day in your life, whether that's yoga, whether it's running, whatever it is, um, make sure that you stick to that, okay? Whether even could it even be cleaning your house. It could be gratitude journaling. It could be um, writing a list of all the things you want to manifest in your life and then reviewing that list every day, adding to it and crossing off the things that you've already achieved. Okay, so here are the affirmations you're going to tell yourself. I am calm and I am still. I release pain that holds me down because that's part of that going within with that hermit energy we kept seeing. As one door closes, another one opens and that's with that 555 energy out with the old and with the new. I am ready to move forward because as soon as we say that we're ready and as soon as we see ourselves as that successful um, six of wands energy, right? Like, of course, good things flow to me. Then, of course, they do. And we have that energy of the eight of wands, like, boom, boom, boom. It happens fast. So I'm so excited for you in the month of January, Cancer. Best of luck, and I can't wait to see what happens. Bye.